Hey everybody, Mr. Parsons here. Time for another lesson and uh, we're still at Drakewell. And behind me is, look at that, doesn't that look awesome? That is the standard rig that's on display here at the museum. You can come here and take a look at it for yourself. Uh, what I wanted to show you on the side of this rig, because uh, we've seen the, the all the tools and stuff. I mean, rigs rigs look the same. There's a couple things I wanted to show you. First of all, in the Drake Well video, I showed you the walking beam that went across that they used to drill. That was rocking back and forth. It was like a spring pole putting a hole in the ground. Look at the beam here. Okay. Again, they're drilling the same way you're drilling. Okay. We're not reinventing the wheel. We're just continuing a tradition that's been around for a long time. In fact, the way that we drill at the school is the same way that they drilled 1,000, 2,000 years ago. We're just trying to chip that rock that's down there. Now, of course, are we that deep? No, not by any stretch of the imagination. Now, if we come in here, I'm inside the little uh, building at the end of the uh, standard rig. Uh, this right here is, ooh, Sensor lights, gotta love them. Uh, what we have right here is uh, an amazing cutout, but this would run the steam from this boiler out here, come into here, and then it would run the belt drive. Now I want you to see the belt drive. I'm gonna do a little dramatic thing here. Put my hand on it. I want you to see how big this belt is, okay? So just to give you an idea of length, let's follow the belt. We come all the way up here. There's the belt. And check out the belt wheel up here. Look at the size of that. Look at this chain. Okay. Just like a bicycle chain, except if you're pedaling this bicycle, I'm not messing with you. So this is the drive system. And every time you add a bigger pulley, you can add more force to what you're needing to, to lift, okay? And so this has the ropes. This has this drive here. This is for your drilling. This is for your winches. This runs all this stuff. So we come up here, and here we are. In the rig, we're going to look up top here, we can see there's the top of the rig right there. Now, we have our little block and tackle on our, on our rig. It's a little tiny pulley. This is the real thing right here. Um, the more pulleys you have, the easier it is to lift something. Um... There's a mathematical formula for this. You should have had it in general. General science is where, where I learned about it. Uh, right now, the names escape me on how that all works. I just know the more pulleys you add onto one rope, and that's all one cord, by the way. That's all one piece of steel right there that's running up. This one, this one, this one. They're all connected. It's not individuals. Okay. Now, this thing right here, this is how you drill. This would have your drill bit, your drill string, pounding down at the bottom, pounding down. Well, when the rock would, you break through a rock, obviously then that piece isn't working. So how do you lower that and make it work easier? See that corkscrew at the top? There's a guy whose job it was, while that thing's moving, boom, 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 to go up and go whack and hit it and lower this unit down to keep hitting the rock. Yeah. Yeah. This Listen, back in the old days, this was a dangerous job. Today, I can't tell you how safe I feel on the oil and gas industry. I've told you, in, 19, in uh, 2018, 64 guys died in the oil and gas industry. Most of those died from car accidents. It wasn't on well sites. Um, there were a few. There was uh, the, the five guys in Oklahoma that uh, that were caught in the uh, bl the uh, blowout, uh, but for the most part, we're safe. In fact, we're off the top twenty most dangerous jobs. One thousand three construction workers died in twenty eighteen. So, 
overall, we're doing pretty good here. By the way, I want, yeah, I wanted to show you this. Look at this wheel. Look how big this thing. I'm, I'm stretching my arm up the whole way. Look how big this thing is. Isn't that amazing? So um, this is what I modeled our rig after at the school. Uh, obviously, it's this is you know this is this one means business. Ours is so you can practice in safety. Um, but I want you guys to all know that uh, you know this is someplace I want you all to visit someday. Uh, come here to Drakewell, see this in person because once you see this in person, you get a better appreciation of what these guys did back in the day. And uh, so enough of this lesson for now. I've taken you on a nice little tour of Drakewell. Uh, we'll go into some other stuff later. Hopefully we're back to school soon. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, Cause I left a loaf of bread on my desk. So there's probably some mice that are just really happy. Just kidding. Just kidding. So, all right. Hey, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, please be safe. Please stay healthy. Doodles.